Hey y'all, welcome back to Fundamental Friday. Today's subject, two-toning. Alright. Very common asked question. I want a two-tone of paint job. Which color I do first? You always do the lighter color first. Okay. Spray it a lighter color, let it flash, wet sand it, scrub it up, clean it up, do your compressed air, blow it all off, then you tape it off. Now, to tape it off, I use the Tamiya tape, okay? The first stripe on the inside is going to be the thin. You got to make sure that you line everything up in a straight line, okay? Then, I backfill in with the wider tape. Make sure that you burnish it down. This gives you a nice crisp line. Doesn't matter if it's on the roof, the hood, the deck, the spoilers, the valances, whatever. Same thing on the sides when you're filling in, okay? This particular kit, this is the Revval 66 Mustang. This will be a road racer. This right now is in what I refer to as my base clear. Now this will be wet sanded. Every little bit will be taken off. As you can see, these lines are crisp. They're clean. Okay? So, once you shoot your secondary color, when you peel the tape off, you peel towards the darker color because that's just what you shot. Okay? Just peel it off. Now you've got these nice crisp lines. Again, let it flash. If you have a dehydrator, put it in a dehydrator. Let it run for 24 hours. Then, once it's dry, take it out. Again, I'm going to wet sand this because your first color, which is the white, okay, then you shot the blue. You're going to have a slight ridge. All right? You wet sand this. It's all smooth. Again, Cleanliness is next to godliness, as grandma used to say. Take it over, wash it all off, blow dry it all off, shoot your clear over it. Again, let it flash, put it in the dehydrator, let it cook out for 24 hours, and you're in hose. Then you just have to wet sand it and polish the clear on it. Now, there are individuals that swear by the fact that if you take a little bit of a clear shot and you shoot it on the lines to seal the tape, that can come back and bite you. Okay? This is why I always use the Tamiya tape because if you burnish it, it will stick. It will not allow bleed unless you didn't do your due diligence when you were burnishing it down. Okay? And when you peel it, you're not going to peel the top coat off and expose the original color. Okay? Once again, and I think I might have missed something. Yes, I did miss something. All right. On, when you go to, and you tape it off for your secondary color, make sure that you burnish it all down tight and look at it. Make sure don't want to splash a paint job. It happens. It's practice, experience, the whole nine yards. You guys will get this. Due diligence. When you have finished taping it off, take it out and hit it with a blast of compressed air. Okay? Because you've been handling it. You got little chunks of skin coming off while you're working, so on and so forth. You got to blast it off. Then you run your secondary color. I think I covered all of that, right? I think we got it. Okay, kids. Hey, once again, it's all about patience. It's all about perseverance. As I said, when you tape off, make sure your lines are all straight. Come on. There's always a clown in the crowd. And that way, when you get done with this, once this is all wet sanded and it's got its final coats clear on it, everything will be copacetic with it. You have a beautiful car. And like I said, I mean, this is just two-tone. You know, you can go three-tone, four-tone, whatever you want to do. 
but you got to make sure that the most important thing is the light color first and then you make sure that you burnish your tape down and get it down tight to my ISLs these are in I think there's four different widths actually there's even more now because they actually offer a thinner where you can actually curve it which I have not as of yet done I do have a couple projects in mind and I will be test driving it but the stuff's great and it does the job and it saves you a whole lot of money. heartache and headache along with frustration and being just plain pissed off so until the next time it's the old man from little custom painting along with Jake y'all have a wonderful week God bless happy Friday to you enjoy your weekend we'll see you next week